It's election year, and there's no question job growth will be one of the top issues. An initiative called Startup America is aiming to fuel job growth through entrepreneurship. So we are joined here today by Startup America CEO Scott Case. So thanks so much for being here. Thanks for having me. Um, you know, I just want to talk a, a little bit before we get into it about Startup America and, and what it actually is and what you guys kind of represent. Well, we're all about startups, and the whole idea behind Startup America is how can we raise America's startup and entrepreneurial game to the next level. A lot of the rest of the world is catching up, and we need to step our game to the next level. And so that's really about focusing on how can we help American startups grow, because their, their growth is what will fuel job creation. It's only through startups that grow that we have uh, a real new creation of uh, net new jobs. In fact, over the last 30 years, all the net new jobs are created by companies less than five years old. So that's what we're focusing on, is how can we help these startups from all around the country, help them fuel their growth, um, and ultimately drive the economy forward. Steve Case is heading up a new partnership called Startup America to help entrepreneurs turn new ideas into new businesses and new jobs. The Startup America was put forth by the Obama administration, and now we are in an election year. So what happens if the Republicans take the White House? Well, I hope they're focused on startups as much as everybody else should be focused on startups, and uh, that's what we're focused on. Our main constituency are the founders and the startups in America, and how do we help them grow? And our expectation is, is that we're going to continue our piece of the puzzle, kind of no matter what, because it's really, really important. And I'll point out that um, the regions, of which we have eight that have launched so far, and there's probably another 10 to 12 that will launch in the, literally in the next 30 days, Half of them are Repu led by Republican governors. Half of them are led by Republican, excuse me, Democratic governors. This is, a, this is an economic issue, and this is a, a really an issue of growing these companies and getting attention that these startups led by founders focused on growth are really critical to our economic well-being. It doesn't matter from a political standpoint. Have you guys had discussions about it? I mean, has it come up at all? Yeah, well, we designed Startup America by the outset, the Case Foundation and the Kauffman Foundation, right. and me personally, that this is a nonpartisan effort. This is focused on startups. We're not interested in doing it if it's not. So w while we have a great relationship with the White House, they have their things to do, and we have our things to do. And to the degree that we can make sure that those things, um, when there's opportunities to align them, that's great. We would work with any administration to shine a light on the importance of startups, regardless of political affiliation, because it's so important to our national well-being. Do you worry that some of those specific initiatives that you're trying, if you know, if they're tax barriers or that kind of thing, that would change with a, a different administration? I think as long as it changes for the good of the startups, regardless of who puts it forward, we have bipartisan bills that are moving through the House now that are, are, uh, that are focused on these startups. Th that needs to get sorted out on the policy front. As a partnership, it doesn't affect anything that we're doing. Uh, at the state level, it doesn't affect us at all. It's really focused on helping these startups grow.